Hello, my name is Dave, and uh, thanks for stopping by uh, the website Chameleon Comforts. Uh, today what I want to do is I want to talk about breeding your own mealworms. Uh, mealworms are super easy to breed. They're great for reptiles, hedgehogs, uh, sugar gliders, chickens, uh, lots of other different various birds as well. And uh, the reason why I want to go over it is... Uh, you know, mealworms, depending upon what you feed, you know, you, you could buy a hundred of them for about three bucks. But, uh, you know, I have several leopard geckos and chameleons, and I tell you what, a hundred of these will be gone in two days. So what I want to do is just kind of talk about starting your own colony. And uh, real simple, I mean, what I like, the system I use, I saw this actually on another YouTube video, and this... This container costs about $8, and you can get these at Walmart or Menards or Lowe's. And what I do is, down below, in my first shelf, this is where I keep all my breeding beetles. And I don't know if you can see this, but so in a, in a lower unit, I'll have probably right now probably several hundred, hundred beetles. And the mealworms... Are basically they're the larva of the darkling beetle. So what I do is I'll fill now about an inch with wheat bran. Then I also add a little bit, uh, or well, actually kind of generously, this cricket diet all over through it, mix it up. And then what you want to do is you want to provide some carrots, slice of apple, potato, something for moisture for the uh, the beetles to uh, to eat and drink. So basically, once you have all your beetles in here, they're going to start to lay eggs. And what I like to do, I'll keep them in this particular lower bin for, a, uh, I'd probably say a month is what I've been doing. February 1st is when I put these guys in. So what I'll do is after a month, I'll take this tray out and I'll use a strainer, okay? And what I'll do is I'll place it over a container like this. And uh, this is actually some that I had from a, another bin. And what's, you're going to get this real small, it's called frass, F-R-A-S-S. -S. And what it is is mealworm poop and, and, and eggs, actually. So what you want to do is you'll, you'll strain that through a strainer and keep the frass because it's fantastic fertilizer. And plus you'll have eggs in there. So I like to throw a, a carrot or a potato in there, and then I'll just set that aside, because I'll use that for fertilizer uh, this spring in my garden. So I also use it on my house plants, but there will be baby mealworms hatching, so don't just throw it away. And the one advice, some people are very sensitive to like the dust and that frass, so um, you might want to just put on just a cheap little face mask. Uh, you know, you could use a, a handkerchief too. If you don't have that um, but yeah you pour it in and then what I do is I'll take all those baby mealworms that I got from this lower unit here and then I'll put those into my second tray and the second tray that's where these ones will grow out in and, and then I'll be you like know, I do have some baby chameleons and, and leopard geckos and I'll, I'll take the small ones from there but then eventually I'll just move this tray up to the third position to get large ones. And I'll just continue the process, just keep moving these trays. But, uh, you know, to start, I would recommend, you know, getting at least 100 mealworms. Get some wheat bran. Get a unit like this. Or you could just start with just a simple one like this. You get it at the dollar store. And let those mealworms become pupa. And then now, uh, after they become the pupa, then they turn into the darkling beetle. But just to give you an idea, um, let me just find a pupa. See, that's what a pupa looks like. So that there is going to eventually turn into the darkling beetle. So this is what's going to be laying the eggs. I don't know if I have a, an adult mealworm in here. What are we doing here? Let me take a look real quick. I would imagine everybody knows what a mealworm looks like, but, but some may not. So that's what the actual mealworm looks like. So it goes from a mealworm 
to the pupa stage to the beetle. The beetle lays the eggs and the whole process starts over. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, please, if you have questions, leave me a comment. I'd love to get back to you. And uh, on Chameleon Comforts, please come to the website, check it out, leave a comment. I would love to answer any questions you may have. So, all right, thanks, and have a, a, a great afternoon.